This is exquisite. In the previous video, we saw how to read data from a text file like this one. There was no header line, and there were no strings in the data, all data were numeric. In this video, we will learn how to read data from a text file that has header lines, and in which there are strings in the data. For your convenience, we have put this data file alongside the final program, in the website shown on screen and in the description section of this video. First, let's start by knowing what a header line is. These are lines in the file, like these ones, that do not form part of the data. They may only be there for descriptive purpose. So what we want to do is to ask the program to ignore or neglect those lines. Let's start with the same program we already had from the previous video. This is it. Now there are two header lines in the data. These are 1 and 2. To tell the program to ignore these two lines, we simply indicate that there are two header lines in the file by including a new argument named header lines, and setting its value to 2, like this. Note that header line is one word with no spaces. That is it, the program should now be able to read the data, ignoring the first two lines, and starting from the third line. Another difference between the file in this video, and the file in the previous video, is that this file contains an additional column that contains the strings, yes or no. This is to indicate whether or not there was rain during the hour of the measurement. To read the data from this file correctly, we should therefore specify the format correctly as, %f, %s, and %f. Recall from the previous video that this tells the program to read the first column of the data as numbers, the second column as strings, and the third column as numbers. If we run this program now, it behaves correctly. How do we know? Let's ask for the value of A, which is data read from the file. We can do this by simply entering A, on the command window. It shows us that each column of A, contains 24 entries. Observe that if we run a program without specifying the number of header lines, it will also run without an error. But it does not read the data correctly. If we check for the value of A, now, we will see that it says, 0 by 1 for each column. This means that A, is empty. It did not read data from the file. And this is because it could not read the header lines correctly. The problem is that the first column is indicated as float, but what it sees is string. And that is how we can always use the header lines argument to read data from a text file that has header lines on it. And also we should always remember to correctly indicate the number of columns, and the format of data in each column. Percentage F for numbers, and percentage S for strings.